in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics and we have covered two chapters. The first chapter was how language was originated and developed. And uh, the next chapter was human and uh, animal language. Today, we are going to commence the third chapter and it is about the development of writing. That how writing was developed and originated. What type of symbols were used at previous time and innocent time to convey a written message to each other. Listeners and audience, you know that more than 7,000 languages are spoken in the world and most of the languages they are in spoken form and they are not in the written form and there are most languages which are in written form and they are not in spoken form. However, most languages are in written form uh, and spoken form, sorry. Now, there is a question arises in my mind and maybe in your mind and that is when language was, uh, when a written language was developed and it was started, it was commenced and originated. Though the exact date is not shown and given, but the development of language was started almost 20,000 years ago. And it was started from cave drawing. Cave uh, drawing also known as painting in the cave. What does it mean? It means that in the innocent time when the people they used to convey their message, their information to other people in written form. So then they used to inscribe their message in symbols on the stones, on the bones, on the leaders or any other uh, organic materials to convey their message. I'm just sharing few very interesting examples with you. For example, if they want to convey a message that the weather is very hot, so they inscribe and engrave the picture of the sun on this stone which would convey a message to other people that the weather is hot. Now, if they want to convey a message that the weather is cold, then they would inscribe and engrave on the stone or on the cave that uh, the, the picture of the moon. If they used to convey a message about water, so then they used to engrave and inscribe or to draw just three lines. Same is the case if they want to talk about the road or the way. So then just they used to uh, engrave one line. So these symbols were used for understanding each other and to convey written message. So how written message was conveyed? Which sources were used? I share the sources, the leaders, the bone, the stone, the, the cab, and other organic materials were used to know each other. So writing, particularly the term we use in grabbing and inscribing and painting or on the cave, inside the cave, it was started uh, 20,000 years ago. 
and then preparing different symbols from the clay it was started 10000 years ago and this type of era is known as the stone age so there are different point of views and historical information about uh, the stone age that when it was started exactly but stone age refers to the age where the tools equipments weapons and another necessary materials were prepared uh, of the stones so this this is known as stone age for example different materials were used from leathers bones uh, and from the clay and stones now how we come to know that the the history has left for us some artifact archaeological artifacts and traces of writing you know there are two types of them one type is which remained and lived and became the part of history and it was that form which was uh, in stone it means those information those symbols which were inscribed and engraved in the stone while those traces did not remain safe because they were uh, perishable and decomposed uh, they were written in decomposed form or they decomposed with the passage of time like those who were written uh, who were inscribed on the bone who were inscribed on the leather leathers and other uh, organic materials so listeners and idols today we just shortly talk about how a written form of language was originated then further we will continue this topic with it in detail that how symbols they were further uh, progressed and what type of symbols were used and which message uh, the people they used to convey with each other through symbols and how the symbols they were changed to syllables phrases sentences etc so hope that uh, you uh, know now a bit about uh, history thank you